People deluded, I'm back again. It's always a pleasure speaking to you guys. Now, at this rate, I'm not too sure what video you've seen, but I know I've done my preview for Man City. I know I've spoken with Turkish at length in relation to Kieran Tierney, Mesut Ozil and the rest of it. So make sure you check out that live stream. I think I've offered some other videos, but at this moment in time, or for this video in particular, my main interest is Kieran Tierney. Now, in relation to Man City, long story short, apparently he was fighting Corona over the summer. Apparently, while the, the sense of, you know, injustice because he's tested negative for it, he stands likely to miss out, to miss out against City because he has to quarantine and whatever. Now, it seems Arsenal and the Scottish authorities are at loggerheads as to what should do and what is the actual protocol behind it and what actually should be done. But I don't think Arteta is going to come out and speak in the way he is if he hasn't been briefed that there is some level of confidence about Kieran Tierney featuring or even that some level of you know he's been told he will feature and obviously he's probably being a bit coy because it's even you know if I'm Pep I'm not trying to make it clear and obvious that Kevin De Bruyne is fit and I like likewise with Arteta I wouldn't be trying to bait up the fitness of of Tierney you know part A might start he might not start you know I'd be trying to keep imbalances or just keep people guessing you know it's a game of chess but in relation to Kieran Tierney Arteta the man himself said this is getting very complicated when we are sending players abroad and obviously you lose control. Some authorities have different regulations to the actual ones in the Premier League. We are, we are still having some discussions with the authorities and hopefully we'll know, more, we'll know more this afternoon. He was then asked on whether Tierney tested positive in the summer. He said, I cannot discuss individual medical things here. He could have said no, that tells you everything. He was then asked a key question on whether or whether Tierney would feature on the weekend. He said, I hope so. Um, which, again, it doesn't sound like much, but there is, must be some hope, you know. Arteta strikes me as a man that will come out and openly say, listen, he is not involved because of this. So there must be a small chance. And in addition, in addition to that, apparently ESPN have tweeted or, or claim, uh, claiming... Arsenal have lobbied the Scottish government to release Tierney, submitting photographic evidence that shows he was sitting further away than the socially distanced requirement of two metres when playing computer games in a hotel room with Armstrong. So again, you know, it's frustrating because we need our best players and our most consistent players available at us and we're significantly weaker. You know, it's even more frustrating for him because if he has adhered to the rules and guidelines and still is a victim, then what's the actual point? He might as well have just carried on with how he's carrying on. And he is tested negative. You know, I know some people will say, oh, we don't know much about the virus. It could still be dormant. You know, we don't know. There's, there's evidence to suggest it, it doesn't show up in symptoms initially. I'm not going to claim to be a doctor in it. I understand if, if away from football, keeping Tierney out. Because imagine if, you know, we don't know much about this virus and it's not showed up, but he is carrying it. You know, off the back of it, it's a madness if he plays against all these players and plays in his teammate. You can see how, it's, how it puts Arsenal and City at a disadvantage. So I could see that, people. But if he has tested negative several times, if he has adhered to the rules, there isn't much more he can do and the man needs to be free and allowed to play. Um... Away from that though, you know, commiserations or, or that might not be the right word, you know, condolences better yet to Gwendozi. Apparently he has been tested positive for this. How he's got it, I don't know. But you could imagine he probably looked excited and looking forward to playing and making his potential debut for her for Berlin this weekend after the international duty. He'll have to sit on his side. And so will Mavropanos because apparently he's hurt his meniscus and requires surgery. So it's been, not been the greatest of times for Arsenal players. Happy birthday to Meze Ozu and you know I thought I'd just offer this apparently Arteta's offered some thoughts he said in relation to him probably not being in our Premier League squad or in it he said he wasn't the only one who was not in the Europa League squad it is a really difficult decision for me to make because to leave out players of the squad at that level where they know they cannot get involved is really tough I don't like it at all but the decision had to be made because we have an excess of foreign players Unfortunately, we had to make that decision and I'm not going to go over the Ozil one and whatnot, but we know why that one isn't there. We know it's not necessarily a sporting decision off the back of the man's ability, but nonetheless, it has happened. So we're going to have to deal with it, people. Um, I haven't got nothing more to add on that, no on that note. He did, he did also confirm Saliba would stay at the club. So at least for the next two and a half months, Saliba has an opportunity to develop, to learn, to potentially even force his way into Arteta's plans because I'm sure it must be difficult But I, to, to hear this from for Saliba. But at the same time, 
injuries are a part of football. Mustafi got his chance because Chambers was injured. He grabbed it last season. You'll have yours. And also, you know, I, I, I do think you can't replace actually playing football. If we could have found somewhere for him to go, it would have been great. But there's also something staying close, learning um, under Arteta. You could imagine Saliba's probably an option at under 23's level now because where else is he going to play football? He's not been named in the Europa. He can play in the Premier League, but it, based on what Arteta said, he's not going to get Europa League minutes. He's not going to get Premier League minutes unless a miracle happens. So he needs to get his football somewhere. The FA Cup, forgive me, doesn't come around until the start of the year. With it being COVID in the Euros next year, I'm not too sure on the schedule of that, but we'll have to see. I've got nothing more to add on that front, so I'm going to get out of here. On that note, people, deluded, I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.